Um, uh, Marius and myself are both uh, the initiators from, uh, of, of the Naked Foundation. We were once uh, trying to establish an underground, an international underground uh, fair, or not a fair actually, uh, a show. Um, biennial. A biennial, you, More than in, the, in The Hague. Um, but we didn't get enough funding from the, uh, from the municipality, so we let it go. Um, so that's our foundation, that's our vehicle for, also this our official, official vehicle for um, also for getting funding. And then we have two other uh, um, uh, vehicles, and one is the Alternative Art Guide, which is a, a global map for the underground. So we map, uh, we try to map all artist-run spaces around the world, which is kind of an endeavor. It's at Sunset, which we started a fairly small uh, exhibition space downstairs uh, from our uh, studio building. And we are doing shows there, actually, and we try to uh, uh, stimulate exchange between um, our artist run initiative and also um, artist run initiatives around the world. And we try to be relaxed about it, so we're not programming a 100% uh, uh, program uh, all year round. Uh, at the moment, we don't have opening hours. Yeah, I think so, for us it was important that we could do it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, like running this super easy uh, artist run space means that you also have to take care about the uh, documentation. So we do that with the iPhone, and then we put it on this super super simple website. <laughs> you know, if you have to call the graphic designer and the, uh, the website builder all the time, then it, it photographer. Takes, uh, photographer it takes a lot of time. And of course, for artists, it's it's important to have you know good documentation. Uh, and we also do that, but for us, it's like important to. Uh, uh, yeah, to keep on going. And yeah, of course, is everything is also uh, adding to the stress that you're already experiencing from daily life. With your own practice, you also try to protect it a bit <laughs> uh, because it takes a lot of energy. Uh, um, and it's somehow, I think you need it for your own art practice. Or this whole the, the process, I think the, the process of running a space, the process of having, like, you know, having conversations, uh, um, building up an exhibition, uh, uh, talking to artists. You know, it's all like, it feels a bit like an extension of art school. Like, that's the, the moment that you talk a lot about your work, and then at a certain point, that stops. Um, but if you're, when you're running an art space, you can start uh, a, conversa a conversation about a stupid little something and keep it like that. So it doesn't have to become something, you know, it can also just stay like this. You can create your own or a context for your work uh, instead of looking for it outside. So you can just create it yourself. And uh, uh, dinners could be part of it, or uh, you know, having a beer with friends in your studio is part of your art practice. Uh, but it's really stupid to talk about it because you cannot measure it. Uh, so if you have like uh, 400 likes on, on, on Instagram or 200 visitors uh, during the opening, you can measure that, uh, but it's less important than having a conversation about work or explaining somebody who's really interested uh, uh, well explain him what you're doing etc the average touch is not very keen on, on uh, starting a collection or even by a uh, single artwork uh, so uh, it's a difficult uh, market so it's good that the uh, municipality and the state uh, support uh, the arts because otherwise it would uh, perish or something i don't know it could it also could be very interesting to see uh, uh, how the art world suffices without money or without funding at least. Well, we'll see because we have an extreme right uh, winner of the elections uh, last November. So we'll